So once we have talked about those two beautiful methods, which is do get and do post. In fact, I just want to do one change here. Let's continue our discussion with get method. And here also I will say do get not do post. And let's verify this if it is working. So I will go back to my server as usual. Let's restart the server and open your Firefox. Here we go. Let's refresh and say submit. It works. Can you see that it is a get request. It works perfectly. Now what I want is, let's say I want to add two numbers, which is happening in this case. And I also want to find a square of this number. Now maybe we have a scenario where you want to add two numbers and you want to find a square of that. It's very easy. Actually, you can act, you can say K equal to K into K and then you can find a square. But this is a very simple logic, right? Let's say you want to build a very complex logic and the logic, which is finding a square. Imagine this is a very complex logic and then you are already doing that in some other servlet. Now, in general, what I'm talking about is, let's say if you have two servlet, one is a square servlet and one is add servlet. Can I call a servlet from a servlet? It may not make sense in this example. Why do you call a servlet from a servlet? But have patience. In, in, the, in the further videos, we'll discuss why do we call a servlet from a servlet because we are also going to see JSP and we'll see how all this thing works in the real life. But time being, let's say you have a scenario where you want to call a servlet from a servlet. Because in this case, what we are doing is we are calling a servlet from a page, right? What I want is I want to get one more servlet. The way you do, the way you do that is very simple, very simple. Just right click on your resources. In fact, right click on your project and say next. I want to create a new class and I want to put this class in com.telisco. I hope that's the same package we have. Maybe the class name I want here is a square servlet. And this square servlet will be extending a class, which is HTTP servlet. Okay, let me just browse it and it's here. Finish and you can see we got a class which is like which is extending HTTP servlet. Instead of doing that, you can also do it here. Now in this, I want a method which is public void do get so that I can send a request. And of course, this do get need to accept two things. I will simply copy this code. I'm damn lazy to type it, so I will just uh, do that. Okay, so that we got do get method. Now what I want is I want to find a square of a number. Okay, first of all, I want to call this servlet. Later, we'll try to find a square. How do you know that this servlet is getting called? It's very simple. Just print something. I would say print writer out equal to res dot get writer. This is how you get the writer object so that you can print. You can write something on the page. Uh, once I got the write object and I would say out dot print ln and I would print hello to square. That's it. I just want to print this message. Now, in this page, index.html page, I'm calling, I'm I'm sending a submit request which will call add. This add will call add servlet. But I want to see the output which is hello to sq. How do you call that particular servlet? It's very simple actually. Just after this line, in fact, you don't need to print anything now because we are not going to print this data here. I want to print that on the second servlet. To call that servlet, basically we have two options. One is request dispatcher and the second one is redirect. Again, I will talk about this in detail in the theory video, the two difference between these two. Time being, let's focus only on dispatcher, request dispatcher. So how do we use a request dispatcher? Because we are dispatching the request from one server to the servlet. The way you do that is by creating object of request dispatcher. You will say request dispatcher and I would say rd, again you can use any name. But then how will you get the instance of request dispatcher? Because this is a interface, unfortunately. So the way you do that is by saying REQ, which is request object dot. There's a method called as get request dispatcher. This will give you the instance of request dispatcher. Here, you just have to mention the servlet name. In this case, not the servlet name, basically, you have to mention the URL. I would say I want to find a square. But the question arises: how will you use this square? Okay, when you send a square request, how will you call this one? And uh, we have one more thing. We have to also say rd.forward by passing those two beautiful objects, which is request and response. So you have to send a request object and a response object. And you can see there's an exception. So I would simply say add a throws there. Okay, everything looks fine. And it needs to call this servlet, but it will not work. Why? Because if you remember, if you want to call any servlet, we have to make sure that in the web XML file, you mention that servlet mapping. Right. So we need to create the servlet and servlet mapping for the SQ servlet. So the request we are sending is for SQ and we have to change the name. If you remember, we'll say PQR here. Again, it should be a logical name, but then just to show you that it can be any name. I'm using this PQR, PQR, ABC, ABC. 
and the square the sublet is square sublet right so when you send a request for sq it will call squared sublet so let's go for this uh, flow so when you click on submit it will call add sublet from the add sublet i'm dispatching the request to sq but we don't know what is sq is and for that in the webxml file you mentioned when you get a request for sq you have to call sq sublet and this is your sq sublet here now will this work that's the question just let's restart the server or maybe i will just run this here so i will set on as so on server and let's enter some values i will say 34 and this time let's say 2 submit and you can see that we got hello to sq so yes we are able to call a servlet from a servlet now next thing would be i just don't want to print hello to sq what i want to do is so this servlet should be able to pass the data the k value to the sq servlet how will you do that because see we are forwarding the request right now there's one way you can do that is by using a concept of session management so normally when you want to send data from one server to the servlet or maybe you want to share data between different servlets we use a concept of session management now we'll talk about session management later the easiest way to send data from a servlet from add servlet to sq servlet is think about this this request dispatcher is forwarding request object and response object right and the same two objects are been used here so don't you think if you can put some data in the request object anyway you're passing that object right so can you just put the value k in request object something like this can you say req dot set attribute so yes you can set an attribute by saying hey this is a k value and the value itself is k now what is two k's here this is a key and this is a value so you're passing a k value which is maybe whatever value you're passing from the user and then you are naming it k so that when you want to refer this on the other servlet you can refer that with k so basically we are able to send this k value from add servlet to sq servlet but how do you fetch it here now since you are setting the attribute in the request object here you will fetch it from the request object so i would say int k equal to r eq dot get attribute so we got get attribute and here you have to mention k so we are passing the value from k okay now it returns an object of an object what you do is you have to convert that into integer format so you can simply typecast it so whenever you have an object format you can typecast it to int and that will perfectly work and here i just want to print oh first of all we have to find a square of a number so i will say k equal to k into into k and here i would say i don't want to print the value i, I don't want to print hello to sq i want to print a uh, result is k so now it will so when you when you send a request now it will first get added those two values and then you will get this square as well will this work let's verify let's go to our index page or maybe i will just simply restart the server and then go back to the browser here i will say refresh and i will send a value so that we can see if it is if you're getting the square square of a number six and two which is eight addition and then when you square find a square of it is it should be 64 and we got 64 right is that simple this is how you call a servlet from a servlet so in the add servlet you use equity dispatcher now there is another way we're using which you can do that that is redirect and we'll see redirect in the in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching everyone